My name is Kaisan. I fairly recently reverted to Islam and I wanted to share my story. I was born Jewish but was raised mainly as a Christian. I eventually left Christianity in 2005 and believed in the Jewish Hashem for a few years before I started practicing Judaism in 2008. I was at first a rabbinic Jew, then a Shammai Jew, and eventually a Tanakh Jew. Um, Tanakh Judaism is kind of similar to Karai Judaism, as they're both Tanakh-only traditions. So prayer includes prostration, kosher is kept strictly, and God is called by his name. Tanakh is a name for the Hebrew scripture. I left Tanakh Judaism and Judaism itself in March 2019. Um, there are many reasons why, and I will go through a few of them. Um, first of all, what animals are kosher has been lost. The Hebrew words for a lot of the kosher animals cannot be translated. Also, the Tanakh never says what happens when someone dies. There's also polytheistic verses in certain books of Tanakh. And the prophets, peace be upon them, were always shown in Tanakh to be incredibly flawed individuals. And frankly, people that I would consider unworthy to be prophets. The Quran corrects that. It's also said that in Jewish tradition, um, the Messiah cannot die. So if Isa, peace be upon him, died, as the Christians believe, he cannot be Messiah. But in Islam, he didn't die. Um, Isa, peace be upon him, is portrayed in the Christian Testament to be a, um, a sacrifice, despite it saying in the Psalms that man cannot redeem man. It would imply that Allah approves of human sacrifice and that Allah can die. So the Christian view of Isa, peace be upon him, doesn't seem right and isn't right. When I left Judaism, several Christians tried to convert me to Christianity and told me to read the Christian Testament. I skipped to a random page and I found John chapter 1 verses 19 to 21. It's where John the Baptist is asked if he was the forerunner of Messiah, whether he was Messiah or whether he was the prophet. The prophet is of course Muhammad peace be upon him. So. Even though it seemed random, I sincerely believe that Allah guided me to randomly select that page and read those verses. Also, Judaism is an ethnic religion, so what about everyone else? What about the other people? Um, there are many internal contradictions within Tanakh. Um, alcohol is permitted within Judaism, yet it has no nutritional value and it's really just a poison. I never liked it or what it does to people. And although Tanakh says that Jews shouldn't drink in some places, it says that they may drink in other places. Surely it should be banned for all Jews, not just those who don't want to drink or those who take the Nazareth vow, which also includes abstention from great products and cutting one's hair. There are other reasons also. Um, Upon leaving Judaism, I started feeling a very dark presence in my flat. It's not easy to describe, but in Tanakh, there's no devil, so I didn't believe it to be the devil. Um, but the dark presence just wouldn't go away and it lingered. I reverted to Islam in March 2020, having started believing in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the last few months of 2019. And then a Muslim was able to help me believe in Isa, peace be upon him. So my faith at that moment was complete. A full 24 hours before I reverted, the dark presence got scarier and darker. But the moment that I finished reciting my Shahada, the dark presence left immediately. Since becoming Muslim, I feel more at ease, I feel safer and more secure, happier and more at peace with myself. 
I also feel that everything is getting better and brighter, not just physically, but mentally and spiritually as well. Um, it also helped that Allah took the dark presence away. I now firmly believe that it was a jinn. I found that some of my obsessive behaviors lessened to a great degree. And I thought that I would miss music because I only ever felt comfortable listening to kosher music. But I don't miss it. When I accidentally listened to some kosher music after reverting, it sounded terrible and not nice to listen to. I also found it relatively easy to start doing salat. It's as though I had always done it. In fact, I wanted and I want to pray more. I also have mild dyslexia. And when I reverted, I found that it was much less of a problem. I could read a translation of the Quran and it was easy and comfortable to read. And it's the same with reading Hadith. I feel that Allah changed me beyond recognition to the point that I feel like a new person, a better person. Thank you.